Hi, my name is Mary West, and I'm here applying for the secretary position at the One Stop Seafood Shop. Question one, why should we hire you when we have applicants with more experience or better credentials? You should hire me because I'm the best person for this position. I am going to school, about to get my degree. I'm very organized. I know how to work the phone really well. I'm very tech savvy. I can use Word documents and Excel very efficiency, efficiently. I'm very good at printing papers. I can schedule the appointments. I've been at my current position job for the past 11 years. It's time to to ex, to expand my employment with a company and a position to better fit my degree wise. I'm also very talkative. I can help customers and help other employees with anything they may have. I am also the best candidate for this position because I am very organized and very hard work. I'm a very hard worker and once I set my mind to something, I will won't stop until it's completely finished and it's the most the best work that I can do because I believe that you need to do everything to the fullest. Don't do it halfway. Complete it completely. Question number two. How do you think that you can contribute to this company? I think I can contribute to the one-stop seafood shop by having a great atmosphere. I am very loud, very outgoing. Um, I get along with just, just about anyone for the most part. I'm also very blunt. I can tell you how it is in the nice way and the correct way how to say it to a person. I'm very spunkful. I'm also the best person. What I can also contribute to this company is my knowledge. I've been with a company for the past 11 years in retail. So it's, I know it's a totally different field, but I've, I've been a manager. I started from the bottom of the store and worked my way all the way up to the top of the store to my current position at the store. I work at currently worked at HEB and I'm currently working there, yes. So I am also very, what I contribute is the past 11 years working with there, working at HEB, I can bring it to your store using this position as filing, um, my communication skills with towards people has gotten so much stronger and I can bring that to the table here at this position. I'm also very, very personal person, I guess you would say, where I can talk to people on a level of understanding them and help them get through whatever they're getting through. And with this position as a secretary position, I would having I would have to like schedule the appointments for schedule the appointments and schedule and do the paperwork and do all that daily setup calendar agenda stuff that's very organ it's very like neat, has to be very neat and organized. So I'm the best candidate for that. And I can that's what I can bring to the table there. The next question, tell me about a time when you solved a difficult problem. Hmm, the time I solved a difficult problem would have to be the current position right now I'm at at my job is HEB curbside. I've transferred there, it's new at our store where we're at right now and difficult time that I had to solve a problem it would have to be a customer orders let's say maybe five steaks 
and we only had two of them out on the shelf and she gets the two sh the two steaks that she wanted out of the five and so she could only find them we could only find them outside so we gave them to her we, we called her and told her that excuse me ma'am we don't have we don't have the complete five but we can give you the two and she was very upset that she didn't want only two she needed five because it was for her meal that she was cooking tonight and she really needed the whole five so what we did i did is i went to the very back into our freezer where we keep all our our items i went back there and searched every single box could not find anything went to another another freezer to look for more items finally i find the two the other three steaks that she needed I got them for her and then come to find out a, another partner had squished her bananas. So she was extremely, extremely, extremely upset that she got squished, squished bananas and then she, she was just so upset. I had to calm her down and say, I believe her name was Mrs. Yackle. I said, Mrs. Yackle, I'm so sorry. We got your steaks. Let's let's go ahead and go get you a new a new a new bundle of bananas. Let's go get you a new one. So I said, she said, okay, okay. She's an older lady. She's not so I was like trying to really take care of her. So I went back there and got her bananas, walked them all the way out to her car and gave them to her and said, I am so sorry about your bananas. Um, here's your steaks. And just because we had to do that, just for your inconvenience of the steaks and the bananas, I went ahead and threw in a free Lysol wipes and a free um, Lysol spray bottle for to to basically tell her that we're, I am sorry for the mistakes that we have made. Anything I can do to help you continue shopping with us and continue to to use our services and so we don't lose a customer because once once you let a customer leave the store unhappy most likely they're going to go and leave and they're going to go tell multiple people let's say five to ten people and those five ten to ten people are going to know about her bad experience and they're not going to want to do hb curbside so we want them to leave in a good a good like a very good um what's the word i'm looking for a good leave good and so they can come back so if you don't want to make them leave angry because if they leave angry they're never going to come back and use your service so once you leave them excited them and acknowledge that you did wrong they will come back and be okay well mary there at the store was she messed up and she squished my bananas but at least at least she gave me free product and replaced them no problem and no question asked so let me continue using her at using that shopping service and um, continue using it so I don't have to go in the store anymore kind of thing. You don't want customers to leave unhappy. So that's about the time that I solved a problem of many other problems I've solved. Thank you. It was nice interviewing with you.